Hello, Ray. How are you doing today? I am I'm doing absolutely fabulous. How are you? I'm excellent. It's great to be speaking with you. Yeah. Well, I got to ask you, Ray, I know the new Ghostbusters movie is coming out, and uh, your music was really uh, a big reason why the old one was so successful. I got to ask you your thoughts on the new one here, and, and especially the new theme song that's with it. Well, I tell you, I saw the movie about four days ago, and you're going to really, really enjoy it. Um, you know, that, that's the most talked about film of all year. Everybody asks me what's going to happen, what's going to happen. But I actually saw it, and it's really, really enjoyable. And the way I describe the two of them, the first film is like a perfect apple, apple, a Fuji apple. The second film is like a perfect orange. So it's a different film. You know? They're two different animals, but they're both really, really good. Well, and a lot of people, um, I guess, kind of starting controversy over the film. Um, maybe it sounds like they're not giving it a chance. Uh, maybe just kind of jump the gun on things. Yeah, I think people jump the gun because... You know, I went there with a clean sheet of paper, a clean mind, and took my kids with me, and everybody thought it was really good. Well, of course, uh, the original film uh, and the theme song as well is so beloved. Did you ever imagine, I guess, the success that, that they would have? We'd be talking about it all these years later? Uh, how about that? No idea. I was 29 years old and had no idea that this was the future. <laughs> yeah, it's incredibly. I guess you never know what song it's going to be that you put out there that people are going to know you for. Right. And also, when I saw the new movie, there's several renditions of my song in the movie. That uh, I just got to tell you, it's very complimentary to hear the younger people paying homage to the to the old guy here. You know, <laughs> it's a very nice thing. It actually almost brought me to tears while I was watching the film. Well, I got to ask you, Ray. I know um, over the years you have released a lot of great stuff on your own. Uh, does it ever bother you? I guess that people kind of just see the Ghostbusters song. Um, does it maybe overshadow some of the other great things you've done over the years? Well, first of all, the Ghostbusters song is overshadowed that even I play the guitar. I mean, people have forgotten everything. Right. They just go, who you going to call? And, you know, I guess that's a really good thing. I'm not going to complain about it. You know, it's, uh, it's nice that when somebody says, I ain't afraid of no ghosts, so they go, who you going to call? They're always looking at me. They're smiling all the time. Everybody's having a wonderful time. So I'm excited that I'm able to make that many people happy. Yeah, you mentioned uh, your guitar work and some of the work you did as a you know a session musician and touring you know kind of with a who's who with Bill Withers and Diana Ross and Aretha Franklin I mean that was uh, some incredible stuff you've done over the years for sure. Yeah, well, thank you. I've had a great time. Just one, I love music so much, and it's just a wonderful thing. So I'm having a great time. Well, I want to ask you, Ray, about your memories of working with Stevie Wonder. I know you did a lot of great stuff with him over the years. Well, Stevie Wonder actually took me out of college to go on tour with him in the Rolling Stones in 1972. I was a teenager. And, uh, you know, he's the one that actually taught me how to write songs. Yeah, it's uh, it's great that uh, he is still out there doing it as well. Do you see yourself getting back uh, working with him maybe in the future? I know he was working on some stuff recently. Well, I work with him all the time, on and off, so I see him quite often. But I don't think I'd get back together and be playing in this band again. I mean, like on a regular basis. <laughs> He won't pay me enough money now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ray, um, I know a lot of these stories we're talking about um, could fill a book. I heard that you're actually writing one. Is it coming out later this year? or what Ab can we Absolutely. Yeah, we're writing the book, Who You Gonna Call? The Adventures of Ray Parker Jr., almost like Indiana Jones, and it's told by a friend of mine, Sylvester Rivers. So that'll be pretty interesting, I think, because it'll be from his perspective, watching me grow up through my life. And then I'll make a record before the end of the year. I'm working on that, too, called 1983. So I want to get that out as well. So I'm a pretty busy guy here. I'm still late. Yeah, let's talk about the record, uh, 1983. What's uh, what's going to be in store for the fans with that one? Well, first of all, the reason why it's named 1983, that's the title song. And it's going to sound like it's from 1983. I want all the music to sound just good old-fashioned music from those days. There won't be any rap music on there. There won't be any funny sounds that they created, you know, in the later years, it's just going to be that year and right around that time. Yeah, maybe it's, uh, maybe I'm getting too old now, too, for the music biz, but it does seem <laughs> like those were the good days, and today is, uh, I mean, it's all right, but uh, nothing like it used to be. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Well, will we see uh, maybe on a tour or something with this new album? Well, hopefully, you never know. If it does well, then I get my butt out there. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, and again, the new Ghostbusters movie coming out, um, why didn't they uh, come to you to do the new theme song? I thought that would have been an obvious choice. Well, I'm asking myself the same question. They, you know, ever since the first uh, movie, they haven't come to me. And my, how about this? My pretty face isn't in there either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is too bad. I know the music video you did uh, 
really that was kind of one of the the big uh, videos back in the day that was on all the time i remember and all those celebrities and stuff that was in it exactly that was a wonderful video in fact it made everybody think that i was in the first film because i saw my face so much you know but for some reason they have not put me in a film yet you know i'm worried about that i guess they don't know who to call <laughs> well hopefully <laughs> this uh this new one does well and it sounds like it will um, maybe they'll make a second one and, and you can finally get in there like you deserve yeah that's what i think they should put me in one of the films and i want them to do it fast before i get too old <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Again, uh, Ray, you are definitely a guy that's uh, on the minds of a lot of kids, you know, growing up, and uh, definitely today with a new movie. It's it's been great speaking with you. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks a lot. Have a good one. Okay.